All right, thank you so much. Uh, okay, let me get back. I, I see someone's hands is up. Uh, all right, thank you so much. Uh, okay, last time we, we have seen uh, systems of um, two linear equations and two unknowns, uh, which usually we call it simultaneous systems of uh, equations, and all of you are aware of it. Uh, we did the cases of uh, no solutions, exactly one solution, one solution, and infinitely uh, uh, many solutions. So today, if we are lucky, we're going to do a, uh, maybe just get one or two different examples of systems of uh, linear equations and unknown, but in 3D this time around. So we have seen previously the cases of uh, the cases of uh, of infinitely many solutions, uh, and we visualize them all of them. So today we do the, the the different cases which still relate to the same thing. Uh, let's say we have x uh, plus y uh, and then minus two z. Let's say equal to one. Uh, let's say you have uh, two x uh, plus two y uh, minus four z. Uh, equals to two, uh, and let's say let's say in case you have three x plus three y uh, minus six z equal to three. So let's say you are asked to solve uh, a system of this nature. So here you have system of three equations and three unknowns. Uh, but basically, if we look at it, if we take the the first system, uh, say we call this equation one, equation two, and equation three. If if we take this system. Uh, when we look at it, look at the first one, x plus y minus 2z equals to 1, uh, and then the next one is 2x plus 2y minus 4z plus 2. So if we, there, is a, there is an obvious relation between uh, between equation 1 and 2 and between equation 1 and 3. So obviously if I take uh, equation 3 minus 3 times equation 1, then, then I get rid of equation 3. So that's the technique of uh, uh, combination and, 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 and elimination that we used previously. Then once you get rid of equation 3, you can do the same, you take equation 2, uh, and then minus two times equation one, then you get rid of equation one as well, right? Those are the obvious uh, system. Then, then we will write equ uh, equation one uh, in the next as as this. We say, okay, what is left as we have x uh, plus y minus two z equal to one. Equation one is the only one left because in the next one we're going to get uh, zero x plus zero y plus zero z uh, equal to zero, and then the, the same for the other one, right? So equation two and three are actually just a, a, a copy of equation one. So then when we look at it, then obviously one way would be for someone else say, okay, I can, instead of me combining, uh, I can divide equation one by, equation two by two, and I can divide equation three by three immediately, then that gives me equation one all the time. So you see, if you do, uh, you divide equation one by equation two by two, you're going to get x plus y uh, minus two z equal to one, so equation one is there, equation two is there, and then if you divide equation uh, three by, by three, then you also get x plus y minus two z equal to one. So you see that it's the same system uh, appearing, so then this reduces to just one one linear system of linear equation, which we call x, which we can write x plus y uh, minus 2z equal to y. So what does that mean? All the three uh, three different equations of planes are actually on top of each other. They are, in a sense, uh, parallel. Uh, and I forgot to tell you that. So if this is, you, uh, you see, when it's, when there's no z, we usually call it simultaneous equation. Uh, and you see here, we call it equation of the plane. And the simultaneous equation is just equation of, uh, of a line. When we become two, so it's actually taking you in 2D. And then you solve for, for one, you get the, you get the you get the graphs in, in other terms. So here, you are basically having three different planes. But because the three of them, are, are somehow by any chance, we chose them in a way that they are, the three are the same, then the, the remaining two planes are on top of the other one, or below, if you want, in another sense. So it's meaning the same thing. So now we, we reduce them to, to just one equation. Since all the three equations are reduced to one equation, the question is that how do we solve it? We saw previously how we solved the, the, the previous one. With, uh, the way we solved the previous one remained the same. So you solve, you make x the subject of the formula to, to, to say that, okay, from this, we can just say that x equal to uh, 1 plus 2z minus y, right? And then the question is that here at this stage, so you wrote x in terms of z, y, but don't worry even if you write y in terms of x as z, or you write z, I mean, you make z the subject of the formula, the idea remains the same. So as long as you know what you're going to deal with, that, uh, that, that's what, what matters. So here, because now, in the previous case, when we said that two, 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 two equations of lines are parallel to each other, uh, and then we ended up by reducing it to one equation of a line, then we parameterize it. So the idea remains the same. You see, in 2D, we only parameterize the y. We say let y equal to t. However, because now that we can three different uh, variables that we're looking for. Here, we're not going to choose only y, but we're going to choose uh, uh, z as well. So then you just say, uh, uh, let's z, we're going to have y and z. Let's z equal to s with s element, and, uh, s real number, uh, and then y equal to t, uh, and then with uh, s and t, both uh, parameters taken in r, then we write our solutions. Our solution will be then x equal to, um, x equal to one plus two s, uh, minus t with s and t both real uh, numbers parameters taken from r then how do you write the, the the solution set so the solution set again as the way we wrote it previously we're supposed to write x y and z both in 3d what i mean by 3d is element of r3 uh, i usually tend to ignore that so because uh, everyone knows that x y and z are they're all real numbers uh, and then with x uh, equal to 1 plus 2 s minus t uh, and then uh, y equal to t and then z equal to s and then you say uh, s and t both are, are real numbers that's the solution set. Okay. Any other question about that? So now the, the, the point is that then we only did it, uh, what do you call? We only did it uh, 
we only did it in in a sense uh, what do you call uh, algebraically so then basically if you if you sketch the plane so i can just give you as a homework uh sketch the plane uh sketch the plane i think i don't know x plus y minus 2z equal to 1 right uh, and then you tell me because the, the solution there are three of them so if you sketch this one so obviously then the second one you you, you obviously join the, then x 2x plus 2y minus 4z uh, equal to 2 and then the next one is 3x uh, plus 3y minus 6z equal to 3 so basically this obviously by seeing that that plane and then times it by 2 so what does that mean does that mean it's just like shift it uh, slightly above does it mean is it below as well? and the same for the three so i want you to sketch all the three plane uh, and then you let me know uh, what, what, what do you get in terms of uh, then since we said that it, it, it admit infinitely many solutions here uh, what, what do you mean by infinitely many solutions because you parameterize s and t so each time you're changing s and t you get different values for y different values for, for z and different values for x then it gives you different values for for for, for all of them so that's why you have uh, infinitely many solutions yes i see some people answer up uh, yes, Tuboko, your hands, your, since you're the first Tuboko, and then followed by uh, Robert Xavier. Yes, Tuboko, please go ahead, talk. I need to talk. No, sir, I had lost you a bit at the beginning because I felt like you were rushing a bit, but I understand now it's fine. Uh, okay, thank you so much, Tuboko, for that. Uh, yes, Xavier? Hi, sir, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Um, do we have to write the solution set like that? Because I've always written it like, um, I don't add the ST's uh, real number, I just write solution set and then the arbitrary values and stuff, is that fine? Uh, just hold on a second if I understand what you're saying. Uh, what do you mean? You write it You write it just like uh, x equal to, is it 1 plus 2s minus t, uh, and then y equal to t, then z equal to s, and then you write t and s, both of them are real number. You mean that's all you stop here? Yeah, that's all I did. Is that fine? Yes, yes. That is already more than enough to say that you have infinitely many solutions. So it depends on what you want. So if I say find the solution set, then you have to use uh, this this notation here. But if you if the whole purpose is to find if uh, the system admit infinitely many poly, many solutions, like three planes are parallel to each other, and then you have to find infinitely many solutions, then this should be more than enough to answer the question. Yes, I agree with you. Then that would be enough. So depending on, on the in the question. So if they say solution set, then generally we write it in this form. So right. just we just give you both options so that in case you, you which one you want would be would be fine. All right, sir. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Uh, any other question, guys? Should we take uh, another system? Any other question, guys? If you have a question, please uh, don't, don't, don't be scared. You need to ask the questions. We need all the questions. There's no question that is. Uh, yes, Millicent, go ahead. Uh, yes, sir. I feel like you were a bit too fast. I lost you when you were starting the, with the solution. Uh, okay, so let me try to become... Uh, 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 yes, someone say, are we already done? Uh, okay, let me go back. Uh, let's check here. All right, I will, I will try to be a bit slow. Uh, where's the correct link? Because I joined from the one he sent on Outlook. So yeah, it depends. You can use the Outlook to, to from the calendar to join directly, or you can use the link, the previous link. So it's the same thing. So and, and then once you get to once you get to the teams, uh, once you go to the teams in this place, you just join the meeting. So which is the same place, uh, or you go here and then you join from here. That is the same thing. So let's hope everyone has. Uh, let me check if I can if, if there's no one there to uh, struggling to join the meeting. Is there anyone uh, saying that they are they are trying to join? There's another link where people are in the other class. So I think that is where the confusion is. Oh, but how did they end up to the other class? Because, uh, okay, let me see. Because we only have one. Uh, yeah, here I only see I only see one. I don't see. Uh, okay, but, but these other people are looking for recordings. And we only have one link because we only have one thing, one place that we go to. So it's not like there are two. But I don't know why. Why are some of the people? Sure. There are two. There are two. Sorry. And, and, and the platform. And the platform. I don't need them. There are two of them. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. Let's get this one here. Yeah, let's get this and send it to them. Yeah, it's, you see, because the first person who come and 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 uh, please join. Let's see if that can. Uh, let's just hold it for one minute. 